Welcome Aquarius to late night messages from your special person. So what I'd like you to do right now <clears throat> is think of the person that matters the most to you. And we're going to find out what is going on with them, how they are thinking and feeling. Okay, this one is really jumping out, so I'm going to take that out. I'm going to make two piles. And we're going to begin. First of all, what jumped out? Would you hear me out if I would try to explain myself? I think um, what we're going to do is get a tarot split before we start, given that something obviously has happened here. To what does this relate? I just saw one, 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 by the way. Would you hear me out, Aquarius, if I were to try and explain myself? Whoa. Okay. Clarify, please. Although this kind of speaks for itself, there's a walk away there at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Pisces, so you may have walked away and this person may want to. Um, there may have been a misunderstanding, there may be information you don't have, or if this person walked away, they really didn't tell you. Well, guys, yeah, you can't make this up. We have the tower twice. Just look at this. Tower, tower. This is obviously, uh, they are obviously still watching you. And there is something that they want to say. They're trying to figure out what to do here in the Two of Pentacles. Underneath this tower, we have a message that yeah, I feel like the next message that you get from them, whenever I look at this page of Juan's message, I always get a, hey, how, how you know, just a simple, hey, you know, uh, but there's so much behind that. What's underneath this tower? Yeah, a secret. So something, there is something that you don't know and it's not your fault. They haven't told you. This tower has not affected your stability, though. I do see you sitting there fine. However, they are losing sleep. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, obviously, or an Aries. Any air sign, any earth sign there. There's a lot of earth and air, but we also had water with the uh, walk away with the Pisces. All right, so something I feel that they are going through a tower. There may have been an unexpected walk away um, from them, or they're having a tower over you walking away. Let's begin, shall we? <laughs> Straight from the person that Aquarius is dealing with, please. We're going we're gonna to take one, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to get three from the other pile. Straight from Aquarius's person's heart. Wow, we're going to take one, five, and six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's see what we have. Your respect and understanding is what I value the most. Yeah, that's why they want you to hear them out. I feel like they've lost your respect and um, and in fact, you may have given up on them and said, look, I'm not dealing with this anymore. The reason why you're not understanding them is because they've withheld information from you with that high priestess secret there, I feel. I watch you on social media. Um, so if you, you know, have Facebook or uh, Instagram, they're looking at your social media. Some of you may have a platform 
uh, if you do, I feel like they do watch you even though you might not think that they do. This is funny. So believe it or not, your person actually thinks step by step we are building something solid. Even though there has been a tower, they have withheld information from you. Um, and, and they're at the point now where they have to beg you to hear them out. I feel like the reason that they're saying this though, you might not realize this, but you got farther with this person than anyone else has. That's why they're saying that. And you may not even know that. I'm too scared to reply. So if you've sent them a message, uh, and you haven't received a reply, it's because they're frightened. They may have to tell you a truth. That could be why they're not replying. I love your body. So they're very attracted to you. Obviously, you guys connected on a physical level. I was angry with you. So this person, I feel like they were trying to be cool, to play it cool. But actually... They're angry, but I feel like they don't have a good reason to be angry, and that could be why they didn't tell you they were angry. Let's continue. Straight from Aquarius, this person's heart, please. We're going to take four and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight from Aquarius, this person's heart, please. We're going to take one, five, and six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see what we have. You keep me up late at night. So this person is literally losing sleep over you. You know, and I always find people, the people who are losing sleep are the ones who are not good with what's happened. They're not cool with their behavior because they haven't been honest. You're haunting my thoughts. I'm constantly reminded of you. Again, um, you know, when you're unsettled like this, it's because they haven't been honest I feel like you're sleeping fine. They're not. I get butterflies in my stomach when you are near. I feel like you don't have any idea how much this person feels for you. They might be cold, you know, in your company. And, um, and in fact, they're actually scared and nervous. You have the best sense of humor, so... Even if they don't laugh at your jokes, they may think later about, you know, what you said and realize, oh my God, that was hilarious. The light has gone out of my life since we parted ways. This all makes sense. So even if this person treated you like they, you know, looked like they didn't care, you were probably the only good thing, you know, in this person's life. Let's keep going. Straight from Aquarius's person. We're going to take four, six, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I may get a tarot split in a moment just to clarify these next messages. Again, four, six, and ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see what we have. Unblock me. Yeah. So I think this person caused you so much trouble. Uh, you got to the point where you had to unblock them. That uh, it makes a lot of sense with the High Priestess and the um, and the Page of Swords that we saw in the beginning. I admire the way you look at life. Uh, it really sounds like they're talking to Aquarius. So you probably have an unconventional 
way of dealing with things. This person might be a bit of a stick in the mud. Just friends. Now I know why you block them. Um, clearly, you most of you had a physical connection with this person, and yet they wouldn't allow this, you know, to gel as a romantic relationship. So they might have, you know, ah, oh, they're lonely, very lonely. Yeah. I want you to fight for my love. See, this is interesting. So they want you to be calling them and competing for them and all that kind of stuff. But yet, they're keeping you, you know, in the friend zone and, uh, you know, but they want, you know, the friends with benefits thing. Um, why? Why would you? How are you supposed to get up the motivation to fight for this person? You know, if, if they've limited this to just friends, it's just, you know, I, I, I hear you, Aquarius. Look at this. I need you as a friend. So this person is stuck between a rock and a hard place right now because they, the interesting thing is you've got a strong physical connection with this person. They won't give you a title as boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, Yet, what's happening right now is they are suffering because in your friendship alone is what they need right now. Uh, you know, it, they sh it, yeah, just look at how they shoved you away, you know, denied feelings. That this person is probably stubborn. They probably won't change a position. Um, they're right, you're wrong, you know, about everything. They're right, you know, everyone else is wrong. There may be a karmic hanging around, you know, and, uh, and you know, and they said, no, you know, I'm not seeing anyone. Uh, just look at this. There's failure here to end something. I feel like th they could have a, a karmic here. What is this? Yeah, justice. Two things about this. Um, it, the reason I feel why you walked away or blocked them is because there clearly wasn't a proper balance here. Um, but now, it, when the Justice card comes out, it could be dealing with the Libra there, by the way, I often see it as um, this person knowing that they haven't treated you fairly, knowing that it was unbalanced. Um, let's keep going. Straight from Aquarius' person's heart, please. We're going to take five and ten. One, two, three, four, five, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight from Aquarius' person's heart, please. Three, six, and nine. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see what we have. This is just fascinating. Ego issues. No kidding. Yeah, it's too bad. Eh? Um, it, it, it's quite clear that this person has an ego. Um, you know, it, it really does slow things down. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. So they're in trouble right now because they're dealing with you the way that they've dealt with everybody else. But you are not, at, like they just said, there, there isn't a, another person. Kiss and make up. Everything will be just fine. This is what this person it, wants you to do. So they're using sex here. Repeat. I think they've had a repeated pattern of using sex to keep you in um, this connection. But it, you notice how I didn't want to call it a relationship because they won't call it a relationship. I wish everything was as it was before. No kidding. So they want to get you back into that wheel, you know, that they had going. They want, you know, they don't want you taking control and, and wanting to uh, advance things. Because they, then they would have to grow up. It's like my heart wants to go its own way no matter what I try. Yeah. So this person has been trying to use their head 
trying to use um you know trying to strategize and use practicality and stomp out feelings in their heart but now they're in trouble because their heart is calling out you know for them to uh to listen to the heart and make a decision with their heart yeah yeah Be <laughs> this toxic behavior of theirs has led to absolutely no contact. But I do feel like in this seven of, so you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra here. This is, um, this is Jupiter in Libra. And I feel like what's happening is while, you, because this you've extinguished this or they have, this person is now in deep contemplation. They are actually thinking over everything right now. Um, so this is actually a good thing. Straight from Aquarius's person's heart, please. One, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Straight from Aquarius's person's heart, please. One, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's see what more they have to say. If I ever put off my mask, will you accept another real me? Yeah. So this whole time, this person has been acting like a big shot, not being themselves. <laughs> Block. Yeah. They've blocked out emotions. They've blocked, you know, they have unwittingly sabotage this connection. I feel like it's led to you blocking them. There's a whole lot of blocking here. Now, this is interesting. This is them talking, believe it or not. I've been giving you love, devotion, and received nothing but your criticism and pain. You, some of you could be dealing with a narcissistic type personality. Believe it or not, even though I think it's completely the other way around, this person actually is so overly sensitive. Their ego is so big that if, if you say anything that's in fact true, um, they find it. Uh, they they find that you are attacking them. If you simply point out, for example, well, you said don't call me your girlfriend or something like that, they'll say something like, I can't believe you're attacking me. Um, this person has a great, big, huge, giant ego. And the truth to them is criticism and, and pain. I'm still mad at you. And it's made them angry. Isn't that crazy? But obviously, look at all the love there. Ugh, I text, then I erase. Well, at least they are, you know, they are very much wanting to, to be honest here. I, I, I'm going to get a split for this now in a second. Let's put this. Healer, yeah. So they're finding that you are a healer. Your purpose, oh God, Aquarius, is to help them move forward with their life so that they can heal from the pain and suffering. Well, you all, you, I feel like you've already done that. Um, I feel like that's, that's work that you tried to do. Give me a, a split for what we've just seen, please. I just feel like this is you, that's them. So here's what I feel this means. Quite simply, um, the person in the Nine of Pentacles is someone who is the top of the top. This person knows that it doesn't get any better than you, but they've been approaching you in this way. And what does this mean? Sex, 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 here today, gone tomorrow. Reckless behavior, not well thought out is a card that wants to come out, yeah. And so, you know, that's led to um, some judgment here. And it, it could be that you've made a, a decision um, to end things. But what's interesting about this card, though, the judgment card, it's a card of Scorpio. The other card we saw there was Leo and there was a card of Virgo. Um, this is a divine calling. It's a huge wake-up call. That horn is the horn of the esoteric. Spirit is calling upon them to listen to spirit. And you may have actually asked them or tried to show them that way. 
you know, and so far they haven't done that. Let's get six more. Straight from Aquarius, this person's heart, please. I'm going to take three, four, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight from Aquarius, this person's heart, please. One, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Let's see what we have. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you. Yeah. You know, so this person, the number 40 there, somebody could be 40. Um, someone could have been born in April. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. You know, this person has got to learn to be vulnerable. Uh, you know, has got to learn that vulnerability is actually a strength. If you want our love to become long lasting, give me a hand to build a solid foundation. Again, there's a desire here. I feel like they have a desire to build, even though everything they've said appears to be the opposite, but they want, they want you to put some work into it, even though you already have, you wanted them to meet you halfway, you know, I hate being away from you. Well, then they should have put in the work. No. I love the feel of you in my arms. Yeah. So these are all the things that this person has not said to you. Maybe they're a non-cuddler, but they're, that's actually how they feel. Yeah, I'm dying for you to just touch me. I feel like right now, wherever they are, they are actually wishing that you were just there to touch their leg, you know, or something. The initial R could be important. We're going to take, um, or Rado, they may want uh, forward motion with you. Um, we're going to get one split and we're going to get one from each side, just the sum of whatever this is. All right, we're going to get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this side, I'm going to take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to take a split. We have a split, please, in advance to clarify what we're about to see. Thank you so much. Ooh, wow. I like this. All right, let's see what the messages are. <laughs> I need you sexually. You know, what's interesting is um, there is an incredible exchange of energy, you know, when you're with somebody physically. Um, they may not understand why they need you sexually, but they, because they don't get the energy thing. They don't understand that it's your energy. It's not just the physical. Yeah, look at this. I love you. Well, the split is incredibly encouraging for this. Um, I feel like this is you. So it, this person, ha they, while they may have caused you a lot of strife, they have not affected your stability as you are still standing. Um, just thought of that Elton John song, I'm Still Standing. I feel like they put you through hell and back. But just have a look at what I, I feel the potential outcome is. It's marriage and commitment. Um, but this person may be a bit of a stick in the mud, maybe the my way or the highway. So um, Aquarius, uh, this does look very encouraging. If they haven't completely exhausted your patience, we're gonna get one soulmate card. That one is it passing itself as I've said there are only four or five messages from soulmates in this entire deck the rest are from spirit and you just got a message from your soulmate my love is like an ocean forever longing for your shore you are an eternal ocean of love 
I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. Now it's interesting that rose quartz was just mentioned because I was just about to say that I feel that this person has a blocked heart chakra and that could be um, what the problem is. And it's interesting because I, there is a piece of rose quartz right here. Um, if you're still in contact with this person, buy them a piece of this and don't tell them what it is. Just tell them it's a, a housewarming. I think you can get towers, little rose court towers, and just stick it in their apartment or their house <laughs> and cl clear their heart chakra and they won't even know it. Anyway, let me know if it resonates. Aquarius, have a wonderful night.